Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we're going to do a head, a teardown of this head gravity MP extended length XL racket. We're going to check out the specifications and we're going to tear down this grip to see what makes this racket a half inch longer than the standard length rackets. So let's get to it. This is the new Tennis Warehouse exclusive 27 and a half inch racket that I believe my guess is my hunch is that head is doing this exclusive with tennis warehouse to sort of just test the market to see if there's much demand for an extended length racket. So kind of a surprise, unusual for head to offer an extended length racket. We also have a 27 inch uh, head gravity here as well, head gravity MPL that we can compare it to. So when we stand it on its head and then compare the grip, we can see that that's a half inch longer. Stay tuned, in a few minutes, we're gonna do a teardown of the grip to show you how they actually extended this racket, uh, whether the racket's actually different or it's just in the handle or is it's just in the butt cap. So we're gonna tear both of these down and show you that. And um, otherwise, there's no material difference between both these rackets. They're, it's a gravity MP, they've just extended it in the handle. And again, I'll show you how. And by the way, if you like this video, before I forget, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm pretty active in the comments. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And I know we all forget. So if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. So let's get into the quick spec review of this. Let's do a static weight. Tennis Warehouse claims it's 323. And we have 324. So pretty close. I had 323 earlier. So this is pretty much on spec in terms of static weight. Now let's check out the specification for balance. We'll slide the camera over, give you a better view. All right, since this is a 27 and a half inch racket, if it was evenly balanced, we have the 27 inch marker right there. 27 inch markers right there, 28 inch marker right there. So 27 and a half, if it was evenly balanced, we would be right there. So obviously it's not evenly balanced. It's supposed to be eight points or the specs call it for be eight points headlight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's line it up. And we can see it's, it's not eight points headlight, this particular racket. Let's go down to seven. It's still not, still coming up. And we'll go down to six and a half. So this is about six and a half points headlight not, it's a little off spec, according to Tennis Warehouse, not quite eight points headlight. Easily solvable by adding a little weight to the handle, of course. Okay, so let's go take you over to the swing weight machine and let's measure swing weight. Now let's go over to swing weight machine, swing weight measuring. Okay. Swing weight is supposed to be 333, according to Tennis Warehouse. Three thirty. Let's try it again. And 330, and I had 331 earlier, so 330, 331, so pretty close. Uh, 333 was the tennis warehouse spec. Swing weight, 330, 331. That's what we have for the XL. Okay, let's do the grip teardown and show you how they extended the grip on this racket. All right, so here's the teardown of the MP and the MP XL. So you can see this one here on top is the MP. It's actually an MPL, but you know, for all intents and purposes, it's an MP as well. And you can see that the MP XL is longer. I've already taken off the butt cap of the MPL, but I won't need to do that for the XL. And here's the reason why, it's because you can already see it. Now I do have some tack in here, so you can ignore this. But so here's the handle of the MPL, so the standard length racket, 27 inch. And then you have the butt cap 
on the XL. So I was thinking possibly that this butt cap here was going to be an extended butt cap, maybe with an extra half inch worth of filler here, but it doesn't. And as you can see here, uh, you can compare, I don't even have to take the butt cap off, this inner lining right here. So that's the handle. It's right here at the edge. And you can see it looks just like this one. So this one here, handle, you can disregard this tack that's in this racket. But this handle is actually a half inch longer on the XL. So it's not an extended butt cap. It is actually <clears throat> this entire piece, which is mounted onto the racket itself. So this handle, which is like a plastic, you know, some sort of plastic or composite handle. It is actually just a handle for the, for the XL down here. This handle is a half inch longer. So it's fabricated or manufactured in a factory a half inch longer and then installed onto uh, the XL. So unfortunately, there's no way to extend a standard length racket, no, you know, no reasonable way to extend a normal length racket with an extended bump cap from head anyway to make it an XL. So again, right here, you can see that's the that's the bottom of the handle right here. That's the lip. So that handle is definitely extended at extra half inch. So if you were thinking about extending your standard length racket to an extended length racket, you can't do it, at least not with a head butt cap. You'll have to live with it unless you look to purchase another butt cap from another manufacturer and extend it. But then that may change some characteristics of the racket as well. So sad news on that front, but that's the teardown of the X MPXL versus the standard length racket. There we have it. That concludes the teardown. Unfortunately and sadly for those of us who are hoping that maybe we could extend our normal standard length gravities to an extended length using an extended butt cap from head or really any other head racket uh, potentially and extending those, that's not an option. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll be doing a full review on that racket this weekend. I'll be playing with it for several hours and see how that goes and see how it plays in general. And I'll be posting it up on YouTube in the next few days. Uh, again, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and comment. Happy to answer any questions in the comments. And I'll see you in the next days.